name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, by this sign of the Holy Cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Who could ever forget The Exorcist? Uh, Linda and Paul Harris, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dennis. L Linda Blair is a Hollywood icon, became a household name as a young girl possessed by the devil in The Exorcist. Uh, went on to star in many other movies like Hell Night and the prison film Chained Heat. And is in Melbourne tonight. How exciting. As part of Monster Fest and Warner Brothers 40th anniversary screenings of The Exorcist. Linda Blair, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. You forgot the fabulous repossessed that we did with Leslie Nielsen. Oh, the list is so long. <laughs> that, that, now there's a movie. Hey, I'm so excited to be here down in Melbourne, and we're out here uh, signing books, and tonight, of course, I'll be at the cinema, the, the uh, opening of Monster Fest, and, you know, a lot of people don't realize that uh, you can't see the exorcist on the big screen much anymore because they never changed the print over to digital. I can tell you, you frightened me. Yes, well, you know, um, that, that was my job. <laughs> Linda, how did you get the role? Because you were an unknown, and I assume you went on a cattle call where they auditioned hundreds of hopefuls. How, how long was the process? Were you picked out at random? I mean, how did it happen? Oh, I was a working child actor in, in New York, and you do modelling and commercials. Yep. I mean, much like any city where you have to have young people doing things. And I wanted to be a veterinarian, which is well known, and... Of course, years later, I have my foundation, the Linda Blair World Heart Foundation for Animal Welfare. And I was saving my money, and, and I thought I was going to stop working right about that time. But if people remember back to books like The Godfather and The Exorcist was, you know, this big, huge novel. And to make it into a film, you know, you went on an interview. We had, you know, agents and so on. And, and you go in, and it wasn't that we had any thought that uh, I would be the one they would pick, but as we know, uh, the rest is history, and so years later, I, I, uh, I think it's fantastic that so many people are fans of, of the film, and really, it's a movie about good and evil, and we're still fighting that today, and we're fighting the war in Iraq, the movie opens in Iraq, and everybody's fighting over their religion, and it's rather sad, really. So I try to get people to realize the exorcist really can point you in a better direction to pick good over evil. The, the movie was so successful, Linda, um, and, and your role in it became something that is a part of people's lives and stuck in their memory. Did it also make it difficult for you to get other work? Because, oh, because it was so, such, a, such a stamp piece. Because what happens whenever you have a success, and Warner Brothers really thought the movie was going to uh, go away very quickly. They did not know what Billy Friedkin had created. He kept it a very close set in New York City. And so when the movie came out, immediately I was put in with the big agencies. Like any of the young actors or any actor that you see nowadays, you want to get with a big agency mm -hmm. and they market you and you hope for the best. Uh, my people went on to do people like you know Tom Cruise and so on. So they made a lot of good choices. I, uh, we did television films in America, which had never been done before, Born Innocent, Charity, Portrait of a Teenage Alcoholic, and so on. So they made a lot of, you know, really good choices. And in my 20s, I just sort of went, you know what, what about me? I want to get back into life and, and things that, that I'm interested in. And I used to train and show horses, and, and I went back to uh, my love for animals. So that's what I'm, I'm fighting for in America right now is, is uh, to change a lot of our welfare issues. Linda, many years ago when I was much younger, I went to see a film called Victory at Entebbe. You were in that alongside people like Anthony Hopkins and a lot of older stars who are no longer with us. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, yes, Miss Liz Taylor was my mother <laughs> and Miss Douglas, Douglas was my father. I like, I like to make jokes about that. Yeah. And, um, oh, that was wonderful. I know Anthony it was, it was so incredible and Mr. Hopkins and Sir Anthony Hopkins. And, uh, yeah, it was a great cast and it was fun to be part of. Uh, Linda, you're here tonight at Cinema Nova. Paul Harris, who's uh, joined me in our movie segment here today, as he always does, we will be actually uh, running the Q&A with you tonight, so you'll get together this evening. Well, I can't wait for it. We had a wonderful night last night in Sydney, and people were just awe-inspired. I tell lots of good stories, and I have them look at the film in a whole different way, and uh, people really enjoy that. So it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and they, they did add a second showing, so there'll be two Q&As, 
and we'll do some autograph signing for my charity, and it, it'll be a lovely, lovely night. I hope people will come down. Linda, Darren wants to uh, recall something to do with The Exorcist. Hi, Darren. Good day, Dennis. How are you going? Good. My mum had nightmares with, about you, Linda, for 10 years after watching that Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> See, you did have an effect, Linda. Ten years of nightmares for Darren's mum. I, I'm sorry, I, with all the traffic, I didn't hear it. What? Uh, Darren's mother, who just uh, Darren just rang in, his mother had nightmares for ten years after seeing The Exorcist. Oh, that's just that's just terrible. What a shame. But she, she won't be suing you. Linda Blair, great to have you on the program. Paul Harris will be with you tonight. Cinema Nova launching the Monster Fest Horror Film Festival uh, celebrating horror movies. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Ah, Linda Blair. Sounds fantastic. Talking.